All right, it's me. I'm back. It's your boy. Y'all see me? Y'all see the book? So let's get to the point. We're going to talk about a cliche that we've heard a lot uh, about the glass either being half empty or half full. Let me make this clear as possible. Whether it's half full or half empty, it has to be filled back up. So if you look at it as half full, it's got to be filled back up. If you look at it as half empty, it's got to be filled back up. Now, the glass is a representation of you and what's in you, what's going on with you. Because you can give so much of yourself and still feel like you're comfortable, meaning you're half full and you got more to give. Or you can feel like it's half empty and you've got to replenish it. You can even flip that around and be like, it's half empty and I'm cool. Or it's half full, i got to fill it back up. However you look at it, the glass has to be refilled. So now, this is up to you to refill the glass. What are you going to do to fill the glass back up? Are you going to take the time out to fill it back up? Are you going to put the energy into it? Are you going to help understand what you need to do? Are you going to take the time for yourself? Do you have to take a hiatus? Do you got to go to work and not ignore people, but realize how you collaborate with people at work because you got to replenish yourself because you can't keep expounding everything you have and pouring it to everybody in the world and forget that you still have to pour into yourself. Now let's get a clarity on that. So since you have to pour into yourself, what does it take to replenish you? Is it just by nutrition? Is it by exercise? Is it by walking? Is it by meditating? Is it by praying? What does it take to replenish you? Because we all look at things from a different vantage point. So you know what it takes to keep you satisfied. You know what it takes to keep you happy. But it know also what it takes to keep you motivated. No one else should be able to keep you motivated but God. You're supposed to be, through His grace and His mercy, stay motivated. Because you realize, don't get me wrong, we all get tired, we all slack off, we all fall short of the glory, and we have to put in the work to get to where we need to be. But with that being said, what are you going to do to get there? Are you going to work harder? Are you going to pray harder? Are you going to fast more? Are you going to watch what you eat? Are you going to watch who you collectively coincide with or collaborate with? Because those things and those people will make such a big difference where it will start to drain you. You've got to figure out how you're going to be replenished. Because if you don't take out time to replenish yourself, you won't be replenished at all. I'm saying this for a reason because we give, 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 give. And we look at everything that's going around, the new normal that's transpiring right now. Uh, the new normal ain't right. Like for me personally, I, I'm going to just keep this 100. And hope, how y'all take it, y'all take it. There's a vaccine out, right? So people are taking a vaccine. They're, they, they, I've never seen a government so adamant about getting everyone vaccinated in my life. So you mean lupus? Cancer, AIDS, HIV, uh, swine flu, uh, Ebola, all this other stuff has been out. And they still haven't come up with a cure. But you mean they don't have a cure for corona. What this vaccine does, this is just my, it's what I've read and what I've studied. It doesn't keep you from giving it or receiving it. It's just supposed to keep it from being deadly. But before that, they told you to quarantine for 14 days in your home and it was gone. Maybe it's just me. I'm just trying to understand some things. So listen, take time out for you and understand what's going on with you in your life. Because me personally, the vaccine doesn't add up to me. I mean, just listen from that vantage point and look at it clear, realistically. If it's not doing anything, if it's not stopping it where you're not going to get it, it's not going to prevent it. Because most times you get a vaccine, the vaccine's supposed to last for years, right? I mean, when we were children, we literally got vaccinated for measles, mumps, polio, and all that other stuff, right? So you get that one vaccine and it lasts for what? Till you were adult, you get a tetanus shot, what, every seven years? So you mean I got to get two shots and every year I got to get a booster shot. But if I stayed home for 14 days, it wouldn't be deadly. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm just throwing that out there. So listen, it's your boy. I'm not going to be long, before y'all long, but listen, fill you up. That glass is you. Fill you up whatever you need to get you to the point where you're successful. Your level of success all depends on what you view success as. Not what no one says, not what society says, no, not, comparison, not comparing yourself to anybody else. Your level of success is your level of success. So, so again, it's next time it's your boy. Ah, you see the shoulder shake. you see the book. It's always love. But take time out for you. Peace.